Hi everyone, Kyle here from RGB Sequences and in today's video we are going to give an updated tutorial on how to import and map a sequence. This tutorial will be tailored to RGB Sequences but it will work for any other vendor as well. In today's video we are going to show a demonstration on how to import the weekend blinding light sequence which is available for free at rgb-sequences.com. Once you download the sequence, it will download as a zip. I have already done so, so it's right here. And then what I like to do personally is I will create a vendor folder and I will put all of the zips I get from that vendor into that folder. So you can go ahead and you can drag that in there. And then on a Mac, if you double click on the zip, it will extract it on Windows you can right click and click extract here. And then what you'll do from here is go ahead and open your show folder. Open X lights pointed to your show. You can see my personal Christmas one right here. And then you can go to file, open new X lights instance on a Mac. If you are on a PC, go ahead and double click on the X lights icon again. That will open a second instance. And then you are going to go to change temporarily and navigate to the unzipped file or folder that you got from your vendor. In this case, it's blinding lights. And you want to make sure that it has the xlights underscore RGB effects dot XML and xlights underscore network.xml file included in that folder. That is going to open up and you will see the vendor layout. What's important to look at inside the vendor layout is the groups that the vendor is using. So you can see there's an all display, an all display with no mega tree or no matrix, an all display except Mega tree and matrix looks like these two are kind of a duplicate, but this one here doesn't include these snowflakes. We have all house props, there's an all roof, and you'll just want to make sure your show folder or your layout has similar groups to the vendor you're importing from. So if you come over here, we have an all, we have an all without the mega tree. Um, looks like we need to make a new one that doesn't include the matrix. That way we could import the sequence over correctly. So what you're going to do is in the vendor layout, you're going to open the sequence. And that is going to typically be an XSQ file. Um, some of the older files may be an XML. Go ahead and click open. It's going to ask you to point to the audio file. I like to throw that in a separate audio or media folder just to keep things organized. And then it's going to load. Over here you will see all of the effects that are included with the sequence. You can see there are some groups in here that aren't used. And to make this a little simpler, you can come over here to your display elements. Right click, click on edit display elements. Right click in this window and do hide unused. And then what that will do is that is going to hide all of the groups or models that are not used in the sequence. And what you are going to want to do is you are going to want to pay very close attention to this order. So the very first group over here is arches, followed by floodlights, house verticals, mini trees, etc you're going to go back to your layout and then you're going to go to file new sequence this is a musical sequence we will navigate to our audio source again i'm going to use 40 fps and you can see that this display order is totally different than the one that rgb is using so what i'll typically do is i will come over here 
I will remove all of the groups and then I will individually start to map them over until they match the vendor that we're importing from. So arches, the next one is flood lights. And then you're going to repeat this process, kind of going back and forth until you have the same display order. So I'll speed this part of the video up and we will be back in just a minute. All right, now that our order matches to the best of our ability, we can go ahead and we can import this. So you can see in this layout, I don't have everything that RGB has. There's the PPD wreath, rose wreath. There's a few other elements that I just don't have, but I have all of the elements over here that are also in the RGB sequence. Go ahead and go over to the zip file. Go ahead and click on open. That is going to unpack everything. And on the right side here, we have all of the effects and props that the vendor has used. And then on the left side here, we have all of the options in our layout. And then this, you are going to just basically drag and drop over arches to arches, candy canes to candy canes. Go ahead and rinse and repeat until you get everything to come over. All right, so it looks like I have everything set up and ready to go. If you want to make this easier in the future, you can click on Save Mapping. We can call this RGB Sequences, and this will create a map file. So the next time you go to import a sequence, if you have a difference in names here, like I name my icicles icicles, RGB use icicles all, it will automatically recognize that this is going to be the same thing and it will help you to map this even faster next time. So then go ahead and you can click on OK. And now we are in you, my personal show folder. Here is the sequence and we need to go ahead and render this. I want to call out a couple things real quick. RGB sequences typically will include a video file for the mega tree and the matrix. And what this is, is it is either an AVI or an MP4 video file of all of the native X lights effects that we have included on that prop. This is helpful in case you have a different density matrix or mega tree. If you are using, say, a 16 strand instead of a 32 strand or something, the images or the shock waves, any of those types of things may be a little skewed, and using a video will help improve that. If you're noticing that it's not rendering correctly or you're having any issues, you can delete the video and the off effect directly below it, and that will revert back to the individual effects that we have used to create the images and effects that you're seeing on that particular prop. Go ahead and click on render. And then once this is done, we can play it back. And as you can see, the shaders, everything has came over correctly. Looks like it is ready to go. We'll give it just a few more seconds. We can see Abel has popped up on the mega tree. That's all looking good. So what we'll do is go over to File, Save Sequence As, and then you can name this whatever you would like. And now it is ready to go. So we'll do another video on how to import singing faces over to mega trees. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email. It is info at rgb-sequences.com, or you can send me a message on Facebook using the RGB Facebook page or to my personal account under Kyle Bostic. And thanks again for checking out this video and supporting RGB sequences.